Alright. Okay. So here, here's the site of Battle Creek, Michigan. I never saw Chris Gallier. Battle Creek, Michigan. No. When I was 18, when I turned 18, that's when I first started doing things. You know, having girlfriends. So, that's between the age of 18 and 21. And... The older I got, the more I strayed away. You know, my relationships with women after 20, the age of 21, they kind of perished. Having girlfriends, you know. I didn't really start having money until 1999. I had money before, but not large amounts. And, uh... I had, between the age of 18 and 21, I had six, six... I had six girlfriends when I was between the age of 18 and so it's 18, 19, 20, 21. So I was having six, I had six girlfriends in four years between 18 and 21. Well, um, you know, And then at the age of 25, at the age of 25, I had I had a fling with my, one of my exes, my last, the last girl I was with. I had a fling with her when I was 25, and then I met a new new chick. Um, and I I had a fling with her. I only was dating her like three weeks though. I mean. Um, and when it comes to social media, y'all, you you people in Battle Creek want to know how I, I got hooked up with social media in 2000 and I wasn't, I wasn't really doing anything on social media until about three and a half years ago. Well, I had a MySpace page in 1999. I, I started, I was making rap. I made a rap song and put it on MySpace. But I had three things put me on a social media three years ago. My neighbor's kids introduced me to social media. My nephews and my nieces. My kids influenced me at the age of what? 38, 39? Kids. I'm like, and, you know, when I was a kid, I had friends that were kids. And I got older, and my neighbors had kid, kids I grew up with had kids. And their kids, you know, I was around their kids. So it was, it was pretty much kids that got me, you know, brought me, brought me into social media. I'm I'm not ashamed to say it because it's my nephews and my nieces and kids I grew up with, their kids influenced me to get into social media. They're they're growing up now. They're all growing up. They're in their like late teens and early twenties. Now. So I'm not you know, how can you be ashamed of your family? And, and kids that you grow up, grew up with, their kids, how can you, I'm not ashamed of that. I love my nephews. I love my nieces. I love my sisters. I have two sisters and a brother. I love them. You know, kids you grow up with, you become adults and you love them too, like they're brothers and sisters. And they have kids. And you love their kids like they're your, they're your nephews and nieces. But yeah, that's pretty much how, that's how things worked out. You know. Um. You know. Because, you know, my neighbor's kids and my nephews and nieces, they, I, I don't know, 
they act like they like me. I don't know what they do. I mean, anytime my nephews would hang out or my nieces would come over, you know, they'd, they'd argue and fight with me like I was a kid. I'm a grown ass male man, and my nephews and nieces would argue with me and start shit. You know, you know, a person at either young or an adult, they're only going to act and talk, you know, the way they're treated. So if you always got kids, kids starting shit with you, male and female, and then you got adults always starting shit with you, arguing with you, you know, like, I mean, you're, you're only going to act the way people treat you. And your character is only going to be the way you're treated within, from without, from a, from coming out to within. 